Hello everyone. Thank you and welcome to my video. It's been quite long I have uploaded any videos at all. So today I'm going to show you how to create a high end copy alloy using Lance script. So this is just how to create a structure and not a simulation. So to start with our Lance script, as you can see on the screen, at first we introduce the units which I'm using metal in this case. You can use any other unit if you want to. Then I'm using a three-dimensional system with a purity boundary condition along X, Y, and Z. After that, I have I'm using an atomic style of atomic. You can choose any one you want. You can use full charge or molecule or whichever is required for your simulation. Uh, then for the alloying, we will be using ferrous nickel chromium cobalt copper as our high entropy alloy, and we'll be creating a nano wire of this alloy. As you already know, for high entropy alloys, the element, the percentage of each element is equal. So here, for for in this case, we'll have twenty percent of the total element as ferrous, twenty percent of nickel, twenty percent of uh, chromium 20% of cobalt and 20% of copper so to start our simulation cell we start with the region command uh, with a block region and the dimensions are negative 50 to 50 along x negative 150 to 150 along y and negative 50 to 50 along z so the reason we took negative to positive value is because we just want the center to be at zero zero. There is no uh, this no other reason than that. You can choose any block you want. Then we are creating a box with five types of atom, and that box is inside the region block. Now, after that, in this line, we are uh, calculating. Sorry, we are. Uh, creating a cylinder which is our nano wire length. So we are creating a region with NW and which is oriented along y direction and the center is at 0, 0, our midpoint is at 0 with a radius of 50 and the length low and length high, those are infinite. That just means that this cylinder is the, the length of the cylinder will be the same as the, the simulation cell we just defined. After that, we introduce a lattice. We are just using a BCC lattice with a lattice parameter of 3.08. You can choose anything you want based on what kind of uh, initial face you want, or initial lattice structure you want, not the face. Uh, and our orientation is the basic one, which is x along x is 100, y is 010, and z is 001. After that, we're creating the atoms. So creating atoms as type one in the region of the nanoware. So right now, after this line is executed, our whole nanoware is filled with type one atom. Now, if you go to line 21, there you can see it says set type one type slash fraction one, 1 1.0. And there's a random value after that. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. So this just says that again, type one is right now 100% of the simulation cell. However, if you go to line 22, here it says set type one, then type fraction 2.8. So what this one does is it's changing 80% of type one atom to type 2 atom. So see, like if 80% of type 1 atom is changed to type 2 atom, then we just have 20% of type 1 atom. So 20, we already got our 20% of ferrous, which we required. Then in uh, line 23, we are setting 60% of type 3 atom, 60% uh, of type, sorry, 60% of type 2 atom to type 3 atom. So now we have 20% of type 1 atom, 20% of type 2 atom, and 60% of type 3 atom. Similarly, in 24, we are changing 40% of 
type 3 atom to type 4 atom. So at this line, we have 20% of type 1 atom, 20% of type 2 atom, 20% of type 3 atom, and 40% of type uh, 4 atom. And at the end, we are doing like from the, those 40%, we are changing 20% to type 5 atom. So we have 5 atoms, which 20% each. So we already said the simulation cell. After this, uh, our our structure is almost complete as we have 20% of each elements in the same system. And after that, we are defining a pair coef or pair coefficient. Here I'm using Leonard Jones cut, uh, stand cut off distance and a pair coefficient along uh, for all the molecules is zero zero. We actually don't need this because at the end we're just uh, only extracting the structure. However, lamps will not execute if you don't write this so this is just for lamps to execute and after that we are uh, putting a mass value so that our system can identify which element this is so mass mass one is 55 which is for uh, iron or ferrous then mass two mass three mass four mass five are nickel chromium cobalt copper respectively then uh, in line 40, we're deleting any overlapped atom that are within 0.3 angstrom among themselves. This is so that we don't have any overlapped atoms in the system. And then you can also set your type, set the charge type. This is not fully required for my case here because I'm using an atomic style, but if you have charge atomic style or maybe a full or molecular atom style, atomic style, you may need this as well. And at the end, we are just exporting the data. So writing the data as the name of our data file is structure.lmp dat and with no coef. That just means that we will not write any kind of pair coefficient values. So let me run the simulation now. Now, if I run the simulation, uh, So let's see. As you can see, it already ran, and then we can open the structure right here. Here you can see we have created the structure, which is along y direction. The nano wire is along y with a radius of 50 angstrom. And let's see if our molecules are in correct percentage so select type and if we select each type you can see for ferrous it's 90.9 percent then for nickel it's 9.9 similarly for these ones these are very close to 20 so as you can see all these were very close to 20 but some are not exactly 20 and the reason for this is because of our limitation of the size However, if we increase the simulation cell size, this will change and this will be exactly 20%. 20%. So that day is it for today. Thank you so much for listening to me. If you have any question, uh, put your comments down below and you can subscribe if you want to. Thank you.